I'm David Knight, co-founder, president, and CEO of Resource Fiber. We're establishing the bamboo industry in the U.S. Here's why. We're back with our series, Our Planet, and a plant that is changing the way the world does business. The plant is bamboo, and these days it's being used to make a lot more than furniture. Here's our chief environmental correspondent, Ann Thompson. Pandas eat it, but you can wear it, walk on it, even use it to dry off. Bamboo, touted today as good for you and the environment. Comparable to cotton, bamboo requires less water and fewer pesticides to grow. Yet as it grows, bamboo absorbs carbon. Fast growing and strong, bamboo is the foundation of David and Ann Knight's Seattle home and flooring business. This is how they grow in the field. They'll grow about 80 feet tall in a matter of 40 days. And don't worry, these guys won't go hungry if more humans use bamboo. The species they like and we engineer are different. In this case, what's good for the people is good for the panda. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York. The U.S. fuels the $35 billion global bamboo industry as the largest importer of bamboo products. But the U.S. isn't capitalizing on this sustainable industry. Bamboo is an incredibly versatile, renewable, and resilient resource. It's also a complementary raw material fiber to wood and an alternative to petroleum-based products. It's rapidly renewable, growing up to two feet a day. And if that isn't compelling enough, it's the strongest woody plant on Earth with characteristics similar to old growth timber. And it absorbs five times more carbon than a similar stand of trees. In 2016, we plan to begin to manufacture innovative bamboo products such as decking for commercial trailers and shipping containers, cross arms for the utility industry, and an assortment of construction products. Our leadership team has over 100 years of collective experience in the bamboo industry, from plant propagation, product design, intellectual property and manufacturing experience, to marketing and selling bamboo products. My wife and business partner, Ann, and I also founded Terragrin Bamboo, a leading brand in the flooring industry today. We pioneered the bamboo flooring industry nearly 20 years ago by developing bamboo manufacturing facilities in China and distribution channels throughout the world. We're establishing the industry in Alabama, an area with great climate and growing conditions for bamboo. Another co-founder of Resource Fiber and a former first lady of Alabama, Marcia Folsom, explains why. It would be a way to turn the Cotton Belt region into a profitable and prosperous region. So I immediately thought the Black Belt of Alabama. Under our leadership, Resource Fiber is becoming a made in the USA sustainable business, offering a wide variety of well-paying permanent jobs we understand for a company to be truly sustainable that it must create wealth. It's a rare opportunity to enjoy exceptional upside potential, establish a new U.S.-based industry, and make a significant social and ecological contribution to society. How cool is that?